Hi guys, this is FHRC Brony, and today um, I'm here to actually do a little bit of some RC project here. Um, you guys probably know on my previous videos of my Traxxas Bandit at OCRC Raceway in Huntington Beach, California. And um, I was so inspired to do a semi-race setup uh, from there. So I decided to do the same thing with my tracks slash over there. That one has the Ford Raptor body. I do have a regular slash body already, but it's up there already and it's completely trashed. So I went, I went to my local hobby shop a couple days ago to get this brand new slash body. Um, I wanted to get myself a regular short course truck body because I don't want to race a Ford F-150 body. That's just my preference. But I got this slash body already. So what I'm gonna do today is actually going to paint it. And then hopefully, we'll, since it's still daylight right now, I'm gonna paint it today. And then later on tonight, I will be reinforcing it with some shoe goo and some drywall tape and also some aluminum tape. It's actually nice to actually use a drill, especially if you actually buy one of those um, tool sets that use one of these things and also one of these things that has a hex shaped shaft on it because you can just easily put it in there and speed up the process a whole lot. So here's the Traxxas Slash body right over there. Here's the crap load of stickers. Lots of stickers. And those are the window masks that I'm gonna be putting on the truck. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I also did this off camera by changing the Ford Raptor bumper to the regular bumper. And also it reinstalled the smaller body mounts. Uh, just a little important side note here. Um, if you're going to be painting your body, just be sure that the RC body is actually um, set up at the hole, the holes that you want it to line up. Line up those, line up the body mount holes, so you have an even, even set of when you're putting on the body. In this case, this tractor slash has the holes pre, pre done, so it's pretty much a direct fit on it. Since that's uh, perfectly good, just be sure to also check for any any um, trimming issues. So like when you're gonna be doing this, compress the spring, it's going to like rub against the fenders or something like that, you know, you can be sure to avoid that by trimming it off using um, some wet sand scissors. In this case, it's not rubbing on pieces of fender or anything like that, so this should be ready to go. All right, so I actually did pretty much one of the hardest parts on making an RC body is to actually mask it. If you want to mask it, uh, if you want to have clear windows, mask it off. But if you don't want it, if you're just gonna put the, the stock stickers to cover the windshield and windows off, then that's fine. You can just pretty much paint it without using these, but I'm gonna have clear windows because I want clear windows. So that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do next in this process is I'm actually going to, um, uh, what do you call this? I'm actually going to uh, prep prep the body by also by washing it, and um, I'll begin painting. Okay, um, I'm at the I'm outside right now, so. Today, right now, at this point in time, I'm actually going to go ahead and start painting the body. So, um, from what I've learned uh, throughout the years with YouTube videos and other stuff, it's not only just you have to shake the can first, just to get ready, just to do this. Um, from what I've learned is, you, from what I've done all the time is, I always, throughout the years, I always like to paint straight lines like this. Like that. That's how I usually do it. I don't go like spray like that continuously. I like to have um, just one simple straight coat of thin paint and then let it dry for a couple of minutes 
via sunlight. And then um, uh, on my second coat, I will go a little bit deeper, a little bit harder on the paint. But uh, still doing the same straight line method. And then after that, I let it sit for a couple minutes again via sunlight. Sometimes people will use hair dryer or heat gun, but I like to prefer the sunlight. And then the third third coat, I would do another straight line. This time a little bit more, a little bit more harder on the paint. Let it dry for a couple of minutes via sunlight, and then so on and so forth. Sometimes I like to do fourth or fifth coat, but aside from that, you generally kind of want to have three coats, generally. But it may vary based on your taste, your preference. For me, sometimes I, like, I would like to have four, sometimes I may be five, but generally three should be okay. So I'm not gonna show you me doing the painting uh, on a regular video. I'm actually going to speed up the process and get you guys onto a time lapse. Okay, so pretty much the first coat is pretty much done. So I'm gonna let the brightness of the sun, sunlight, the heat of sunlight, do the drying process. Sometimes you can use a heat gun or a hair dryer, but personally, I don't like using it because it's only, it's gonna, if you, if you overdo it, you can still use hair dryer or a heat gun, but if you overdo it, you're pretty much gonna be ending up melting the paint mainly, and you don't want that. So I'm just gonna let the mother nature do her thing with this with this tracks of slash body let it you know let it do do the job properly so i'm gonna go ahead and let it dry up i'm actually going to set it on the side a little bit the sun the sunlight is actually directly going diagonally like right here so it's actually i'm just gonna make the body face directly where the sun is facing at right now so so i'm gonna while i let that thing dry for a couple of minutes i'm gonna go get myself some food and then I'll be back for the second and third coat. All right, coat number one is pretty much done. Uh, the sun is just still, still doing its thing, but it looks like it's time to go ahead and do a second coat. So in this case, now I'm gonna go ahead and do it a little bit harder. Also doing straight lines. Uh, earlier in the time lapse, you saw me doing this. You can also do that, but I'm still having that habit of doing like that. So, but um, be sure to do it in a, do it straight lines because that's what I prefer more. Because if you do it like this, you're pretty much scattering all the paint and you're getting too much coating, too much paint on one spot and less on the other spots. I don't like doing that. I prefer doing it straight lines so it's even. So the coating is even. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the the second coating and um gonna jump on to the time lapse. Alright, second coat is done. Um, I also like to show you show you guys that sometimes you can also want to check how well you did your coatings by looking directly at some light or sunlight. As you can see, it's not perfect. You can see some clear markings over there, but you know, um, if you're not really that much of a perfectionist, which I don't expect anybody to be a perfectionist when they make when they make RC bodies uh, for the first time, but because uh, once you put it on the body on the car, you're really not going to see it. But um, but uh, if you can get most of the clear stuff out of the way, that's that's a good thing. But uh, this is just only the second coat. I am not done with the paint process yet. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing a third coat and possibly I might have to do a fourth coat. But generally, like I said, you would normally want to use three coats of paint when you're making an RC body. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let Mother Nature do her, do her thing. And uh, I'll see you guys in the third coat. Okay, coat number three is done. I'll let the sun do its thing. And I'm possibly, since I still have a little bit more, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do a fourth coat. And as you guys probably noticed, I was actually doing 
this already. Normally, like I said, I was kind of hypocritical because I was saying you should do it this way. But um, on the third coat, for me, I, I was doing that off camera a little bit. But uh, I was still doing the um, that straight line method. But the reason why I was actually doing a little bit of this on certain areas is because, like, like I just said right there, on certain areas where some of the paint did not go in uh, correctly. So I had to go in there so, so I can actually at least let the paint get in there to points where I cannot actually reach or the paint does not reach uh, the whole way through. So that's what I actually did, but it's not really, you don't see any like liquidy-ish parts on the paint. Uh, so you're not gonna see that here on the camera. So I'm gonna let the um, paint dry and then uh, off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and do the fourth coating. So pretty much the paint job is actually pretty good actually, I'll be honest with you. It's not the perfect, the best thing I've ever done, but you know, none of my paint jobs are always the greatest thing as far as RC is concerned. But I just want to go ahead and put this one more finishing touch and by putting a fourth coat. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put a fourth coat on it and then I'll call it a day. So yeah. All right, so here's the pretty much the finished product. Well, I would say quote unquote finished product because it's not really the finished product yet. Aside from the stickers, I did not put that there yet, but you might notice that little thing right there, that little white piece that says something about clear protective peel. Well, it really meant that. Because that was there to prevent overspraying and uh, this part did not get it yet so I have to come on, come on where's that peel oh well, there's some over here so there we go there we go look at that right there. clean well Looks like I can go ahead and end off this video, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and put my stickers off camera and um, see you guys in the next episode of my Traxxas slash build. Race, semi-race build, I should say. Okay guys, I am back and it's already nighttime outside and I also broke my tripod earlier. So now you guys are actually seeing this on a newer tripod, so. Yeah, so here is my Traxa Slash once again, but uh, this time it has the regular SCT body on it. And um, and I did a pretty good job painting it. I really love how the way it turned out. A um, little bit of some scuff marks a little bit, but you know, that's not too bad. I'll be honest with you. And also I have mounted a GoPro mount here. So, um, I, it's a combination of, of um, 3M sticky tape and also a, um, what's that thing, screws. And then so, I'll be able to attach this GoPro right on there. Perfect. So, in this part of the video, I'm actually going to be doing a, um, I'm going to reinforce the RC, my RC body uh, using shoe goo and drywall tape. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how I do it, but uh, I'll show you guys what, how I did it though uh, once I'm done uh, with the process. The reason why I actually want to put shoe goo and drywall tape in here, I know it kind of it's going to... Uh, why? The, the, how do I say this? The reason why I, wanna, I have to do this is because from what I heard on YouTube, especially with RC, RC YouTubers, um, reinforcing your body, uh, your RC body with shugu and drywall tape will actually uh, lengthen the life of your RC body. So I figured, why not go ahead and give it a shot? I tried this exact same method on my Ford GT body um, when I got my Fortec for the first time, 
and it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the chase and start doing it off camera. And then I'll show you guys once I'm done. Okay, I'm not done reinforcing the body yet, but um, I just wanted to let you guys uh, know that this stuff actually smells bad. And actually, in fact, this can actually get you high. Yes, so <laughs> we'll get you high, man. Um, but so far, the, this actually does work though. I've seen multiple videos on people actually doing this and it's, it actually does work um, based on what I'm seeing. Uh, actually, like I said earlier, I put some of these on my Ford GT body, my very first Ford GT body when I got my first Tractus Fortec. And it did pretty well, actually. I'll, I'll be honest with you. And, uh, um, what else am I gonna say? But this stuff actually does smell. And uh, I have my window like open all the way. Because, uh, woo, my god, I'm high right now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm not really high. Um, be sure to, um, if, if you're close by a window, just open it all the way and then at least have a fan with you or something. Because this stuff actually does smell. So, uh, let me move my tripod real quick. There we go. Okay, so, um, this stupid nut doesn't want to come out anymore for some reason. Yeah, but anyways, um, looks like the reinforcement, reinforcing it with shoe glue and drywall tape is pretty much done. Um, so I'm only, I know what you guys are thinking, like, why did you also do the roof? Uh, because I like to do that just in case, because sometimes when I flip over and sometimes when other people flip over, that usually, you usually land on your lid. And it does, it will happen, and it does happen. So I just want to go ahead and just um, uh, reinforce it right there. So at least I know for a fact that it's going to be ready to go and be all good right there. So yeah. Um, also the front area is also reinforced, stuff like that. So um, uh, And also on the sides right there and right there. So um, the next thing I'm actually going to be doing now is actually put some aluminum tape or how the British say it, aluminium. I'm gonna put some aluminum tape right um, around to the body, and I'm, I'll show you guys why I actually put aluminum tape on the body, and I'll show you guys right after this. All right, it's all done. So um, I just want to go ahead and just show you guys what, how, and why I did this. Um, so basically, what's happening here is I'm um, actually re I reinforced the the body with shugu and drywall tape excuse me I was about to burp or something like that so I had to hold it in so um, I only reinforced areas where I know it's gonna break easily and or split because that actually happened on my previous tracks of slash body not the Ford f-150 rapid body actually actually this uh, this exact same uh, slash body model um i had a crack on the front bumper grill area so i actually reinforced it with shugu and drywall tape and on the side i know a lot of rcs are going to be bashed in but on the side over here so i also reinforced it with shugu and drywall tape as well as well on the side this was actually pretty much optional for me i just did that just to because i chose to do it but uh, most of the time when you flip over you do land on your roof and also I put shugu and drywall tape and then on this part I actually just put shugu in and the body washers. I put them in there so it actually makes the body last a little longer when it comes to hitting um, these parts. Also, I put aluminum tape on the fender wells because why? Your wheels are rubbing against the fenders and this will help reduce the point uh, when your re wheels do end up uh, rubbing against the fenders it doesn't rip your paint off so i did that just to you know have, save the body for, for make the body last a little bit longer it might look ugly 
It might look ugly on the outside because you might see even right there, you can see the shoe goo kind of sticking out, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, as long as the body is, you know, yeah, lasts longer, that's all I care. It is going to add a little bit of weight. Uh, that's the only downside to it, but since this one's going to be a semi-race setup, it's not going to be like a hardcore race where I actually buy a actual Proline Flow Tech. As a, I think it's a Flow Tech, but it's a... Um, one of those uh, bodies that has like the aerodynamics on the design to it. Yeah, you probably know what I mean. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the RC body. Um, shoe goo, drywall tape, aluminum tape. Also, I painted it up earlier today, blah, blah, blah. And I'm actually quite happy how it turned out. You know, I'm not the Pablo Picasso of RC painting, but you know, uh, it is better than my previous paints painting before. So, anyways, that wraps up episode one of my Traxxas slash two wheel drive semi race build. On my upcoming episode, I will be tuning up my shocks, so be on the lookout for that. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.